obviously you guys uh, were on this for a reason. Um, you know, I'm just super thankful and blessed to be in to be in this position. Um, you know, Buffalo has been amazing the past four years, uh, from the fans to the community. I uh, wouldn't want to change anything about about our team. Um, uh, you know, I've been saying this for a while, but we're headed in the right direction. Uh, I've been winning a lot of games lately, and we're going to take it to the next level. So, you know, this is the the I can't put into words how happy I am. You know, not just for um, you know, football sake, but just with my, you know, my family and wife, and uh, we have a ton of family close to Buffalo. So, uh, you know, thankful that we were able to get something done, and and for for Bean and Sean, um, Trage to to you know trust me enough to give me the op, you know to give me uh, you know some extended years. It's a blessing. So, open up to you guys. Hey, Mike, John. Congrats, man. <clears throat> Thank you, John. Uh, how important uh, of a priority for you was it to get this done before the off season really got underway, before camp or any of that stuff, uh, as you were entering your final year? Uh, you know, I just think it was important just because, um, you know, it, it, uh, my mentality is more, you know, I was obviously going to keep working out and, and, and be in the best shape of my life. But, you know, it's just something that was lingering, um, you know, my agent calling me up and, and stuff like that. I don't want to have to deal with any of that. So um, I'm glad that we were able to get something done. So now I can just focus on, you know, continue to try to make this team better. Um, I'm excited for where this team's the, the, the direction that we're going. Thanks, man. Of course. Hey, Mike. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, you talk about how you just wanted to get this out of the way so that you can focus on getting this team better. So how does a deal like this, an extension like this, help motivate you for what's to come, especially with the season that your team had this past year? Yeah, well, I understand, you know, this the league, just because you have a good season one year doesn't mean you're going to do it the next. Um, and I've been in this league long enough to know that. Uh, but and then as Sean, I bought, brought into the building, um, you know, we're going to continue to work. We're going to continue to try to get better. And that's kind of been my, my mentality this whole time, too, is do what I can to help this football team win ball games. Um, so, you know, it's it's a rewarding feeling knowing that they, you know, see me as um, a key piece in, in doing that. And I'm just I'm, I want to finish what what was started um, in Buffalo. You know, we you know, I say we as in, you know, the, the guys that came in 2017, Sean and um, Tre Davis, Poe, myself, you know, obviously D Doc, a few other guys, but um, we just want to finish what we started. I'm, and I'm and I'm glad that I'm able to um, be a part of that. And I, I'm just happy for for the team. I'm happy, you know, that that uh, we can keep this thing going. Thanks, Micah. Congrats. Thank you. Hey, Micah, Josh Reed here. Congrats. Um, Thank you, Josh. How do you walk the line as as a player? wanting to get what you deserve money-wise and wanting to end up in a situation where you want to be. And how has that changed yeah. as you've kind of gone on in your career? Um, well, I think it's safe to say that Buffalo is where I want to be. Um, I, I would I would never uh, say otherwise. Buffalo is 100% where I want to be. It's, you know, just the, the, it's my teammates that I have, coaches, the community, Josh, you know me, I'm from a small town uh, in Ohio. So that kind of has that same type of feel. Um, you know, I'm, uh, the organization is on its way up. Um, you know, obviously, like I said, due to you know, guys like Brandon and Sean bringing in the right guys. But, you know, there is uh, there is a fine line between, you know, you wanting to, I guess, get what you deserve and and um, you be in a situation where you're, you're still playing for a team that you want to play for. Um, and I think that we, you know, obviously we all understood that my agent understood that. So when he was having conversations back and forth with, um, you know, the front office people that, you know, uh, Michael wants to be here and, you know, I'm, to, to me, myself, I'm not, um, not one of those guys that, you know, is going to go out in the media, ask for more money, all that type of stuff. No, I just, I just want to, um, be a part of this organization. Um, it's an honor to be a part of this organization and part of both mafia and, um, I'm glad, like I said, we can get something done. Appreciate it, Micah. Have, have a good offseason. Oh, you, you too, Josh. Appreciate it, man.
Hey, Micah, congratulations. I was wondering if you could expand upon something that you just kind of said a minute ago. You said that, you know, you take it seriously, that you were one of the people who kind of was with this new wave in 2017 with Dawkins, with Poyer, with Sean. And I was wondering yeah. just if you could kind of further expand on what that means to you, because I know when we've talked to you and Trey and all these guys, it's something that you kind of all bring up often. Yeah, because it's the truth. It's the truth that, you know, we felt like uh, um, when we got there in 17, you know, the organization obviously wasn't where we wanted it to be. And, you know, I thought the last couple of years we were able to, to turn the thing around. Um, and I would have had, you know, big empty pit in my stomach if I would have ended up somewhere else. And, um, you know, because this team is headed in the right direction. This the, this organization is headed in the right direction. It's um, now I'm not making any guarantees about Super Bowl wins or whatnot, but, you know, our eyes are focused on that right now. And so, um, to be a part of that and, and have the opportunity to, to be on the journey with this football team and, and try to make it, you know, to the ultimate goals. Uh, um, like I said, it's an honor to be a part of it. And I just, I can't thank uh, my teammates, coaches, family enough just to, uh, you know, help me, help me get to where I am today. Thanks so much, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. Mike DeHine, New York, as well, Full Sports 1080, man. Congratulations. Appreciate it, Moo. All right, now, man, uh, you was the first piece, you know, four years ago, man, you was the first piece to Coach McDermott's puzzle. And how easy was it for you to buy into this extension? And, you know, after, you know, 30 days away of playing in your last game, um, what did you process from that? And what would you do to redevelop your mindset going into next season? Um, well, you know, it's, uh, obviously losing, um, and not, not winning a Super Bowl, um, is difficult, especially when you get so close and you know that you have the team to do it, the guys in the locker room to do it, it's tough. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, as a, as a competitor, um, you gotta, just gotta, you gotta go back to the lab. You gotta figure out what you can do better to help the football team. And that's kind of how I've been the last couple of months, just kind of dissecting the season, um, mm -hmm. Uh, reflecting on it a little bit and, and understanding what I could have did better to help the football team. And um, I think that's what it comes down to. Uh, every guy in the locker room trying to get better. And I think that if we continue to do that, the team will get better. And then uh, we'll be in the position to win the Super Bowl. So. Hey, man, wish you nothing but the best. Have a great, healthy offseason, man, and see you soon. Thank you, Move. We'll see you soon, man. Hey, Mike, uh, uh, congrats, man. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. Um, you, ha you're the best person to ask this because, you know, like Mookie mentioned, I mean, you go all the way back to the start of this build and I'm curious, like when you were picking Buffalo and you were going through that free agent process, did you envision what it would become? And what are those conversations like, not only this off season, but the past couple with prospective free agents, guys, you know, around the league that, you know, that kind of mm, idea I'm of glad Buffalo you asked has that. changed. I'm glad you asked that. <laughs> go ahead. Yeah. hundred percent. Um, well, you know, it's funny because uh, like there's since I've been there the last four years, you know, when I hit free agency uh, back in 2017, that uh, uh, you know, I wasn't somebody that everybody was chasing after and wanted, you know, as a top guy and all that type of stuff. So when I was getting the love from Buffalo, I was like, cool. But I remember having a conversation with my agent before that and saying, like, look, man, I grew up in cold Ohio. I went to Iowa. I was in Green Bay. Like, come on, man, like, let's go to a warm city and and maybe like not Buffalo, well, then obviously I ended up in Buffalo. So, yeah, I, you know, I kind of had that same mindset heading into free agency, like of, of what Buffalo was and all that. But now I, I, I wouldn't change it for the world. It's, it's one of the best places to play. Um, the fans are amazing. You know, we live in Orchard Park where it's, it's like a family. You know, we love our neighbors. Our neighbors take care of us. Um, I can call them up right now and see if they want to hang out and they'd be down to, you know, it's just um, that type of atmosphere there. It's, it's, it's all about family. But at the same time, it, it, it throughout the last couple of years, when I would talk to some free agent guys that I know that I'm close with, um, we'd have conversations and, you know, they're going on visits. And I'd say, hey, man, come to Buffalo. And they're like, ah, you know, I'm, I'm cool. I'm going to go somewhere else. Well, you know what? At the end of the day, I'm, I, I bet you they're pretty pissed off they didn't take those visits to Buffalo because now they're probably sitting on a, sitting on a, uh, a trash team or, or sitting on the couch somewhere else because they didn't, they didn't, they didn't come to Buffalo. So that's kind of my vent. And, um, as you can tell, I'm a little – I'm a little uh, mad about, you know, kind of being turned down a few times of guys kind of just throwing us under the rug. Um, but at the end of the day, we're, uh, we're trying to win ball games. And if, if you don't want to be in Buffalo, don't come. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Hey, man, you got me worked up.
I'm over here. <laughs> Sorry like, about happy that. Happy than not. You brought out the competitor in me. Dang. Yeah, man. It's just, I like it. I like it. It's just a lot of. I, it's just a lot of guys that that think uh, you know Buffalo's the old Buffalo, not winning and and all that. It's it's it's, it's disrespect because um, the city is is an amazing city. Um, the team, the organization is amazing, and I wouldn't any I wouldn't have it any other way. Like it's, if I'm able to finish my career in Buffalo, um, that's the ultimate plan. Thanks, man. Enjoy your offseason. What's up, Thank Mike? You. Congrats, man. Uh, you taking any of those phone calls now for those guys that are on those those trash teams, those not competing teams? Do I answer your phone? You know, if they if if they want to give me a call, if they want to, you know. Uh, side of my DMs, ask me questions about Buffalo. I'm all for it because at the end of the day, we were, you know, we want to uh, win Super Bowls. Um, and if, if the guys want to be a part of it, then we we love for them to. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm taking those phone calls, and, and I'm gonna. Yeah. They know what what type of direction Buffalo's headed. But uh, what I wanted to ask too was uh, the last time around, your your last contract year with with Green Bay. Obviously, you didn't get what you felt like the respect that you deserved. Matter of fact, you got, you were told pretty early on that they weren't going to bring you back. How does yeah. that feel? I'm curious for the first time, an organization that you've playing with telling you before your contract is done. Yes. We want you here. We want you to keep, we want you to stay yeah. in town. Yeah. I mean, the so that's, that's a, that's an amazing question just because it's, uh, I can't even put into words what it means um, to be somewhere for, for four years and to tell them, you know, we want you back for for some more years. It's it's a, it's a blessing, um, and it's an amazing situation to be in. Like you talk about Green Bay, you know, it's kind of you know me. I mean, we have conversations all the time. I talk about my heart and soul into this football stuff and trying to make my team better and all that. And then, you know, after the four years I was in Green Bay, they said, uh, you know, just go ahead and walk. We're not gonna offer you anything. So it kind of kind of left the scar, man. I'm not gonna lie. Um, you know, it's but I think it it was a pivotal point in my career to where. Um, I really looked at myself in the mirror and said, we got to, we got to really, you know, change this thing and, and uh, get better. And I think with the opportunity I got in Buffalo, it's, it just came hand in hand with the opportunity that Sean gave me and, and Brandy has, you know, continued to give me now. Um, I'll make the most of it. And, you know, I'll tell them like they're sitting in front of me. I'm going to be one of the most uh, hardest working guys on the team. I'm trying to make this team better. Appreciate it, man. Congrats once again, man. Thank you, Marcel. Hey, Micah, congratulations on the deal. Um, Thank you. you mentioned that that Green Bay situation left a little bit of a scar. I'm curious if at any point, you know, in the last 12 months or so, or, you know, maybe eight months, you were worried about whether this would get done um, because, you know, yeah. Dion, Trey, other guys, jo Jordan got an extension. Was there any part of you that wondered and, and how did it kind of develop to get to this point where it's locked in? Uh, well, I think, uh, uh, you know, yeah, I did get a scar from, from Green Bay in that situation. But at, at the end of the day, I think I learned a lot about the business of the NFL. And, um, you know, I learned how the, the, the NFL works and, you know, uh, guys getting paid, this and that. And obviously, you know, I'm not, I'm not 25 years old um, coming off, you know, two Super Bowl rings, I'm not breaking the bank. Um, so I, I understand how my con my contract's a little bit different from a guy like D-Doc or, or Trey Davis, you know, those type of guys that are, you know, getting, getting a lot of money. But um, yeah, you know, I just, uh, uh, going into this whole process, I, I, I wanted it to be over because I didn't want it to, to hijack my, my mind, my mindset. You know, I wanted to um, be able to focus on um, the things that I could. I'm sorry, I'm getting a phone call right now. Um, focus on the things that I could and um, just try to help this football team win. How much do you feel like you have left? I know you're still pretty young. Have you thought that far ahead? Like how much do you feel like you got left in the tank? You know, when I, when I went to Buffalo in 2017, uh, I didn't feel this good. Uh, I feel, I feel amazing right now. I feel, I feel like, you know, throughout the year to take care of my body better. Um, you know, as you get older, you understand what you can and can't do, uh, you know, it, you know, as a, as a defensive back group, we always talk about who's the fastest in the in the DB room and all that type of stuff. And I may not be the fastest, but you know, you can check my game day GPS and you can tell that I uh, I still got a little bit left in the tank. So, um, you know, I we'll see where this thing goes. Um, I feel great right now, um, and I'm excited to to get to work again. Thanks, Micah.
Thank you. You might get Sal. How are you, buddy? Sal, my man. I'm good. How you doing? I I'm good. Um, because you did this on a Friday late, I had to adjust my schedule going on the radio. So I just got in and uh, had to talk about you. So I have no idea what's been asked and what hasn't. So if I ask you a question that's already been asked, I apologize. No but, worries. Um, I, I, uh, I first want to say, like, uh, congratulations to you, obviously. I hope this uh, also means maybe, um, you know, a couple more years of the softball game. Obviously, that's really fun. We can do that. Um, I know you've been involved doing some stuff with the Boys and Girls Club and things like that. You know, just lots of different things. And that's what I want to ask you about is the community of Buffalo and how much you've been a part of this community, how much you're looking forward to, because of an extension, being able to maintain those relationships you have in the community. Well, that's always been something that I took pride in, um, you know, with the Magic Youth Foundation and, and doing what we could do in the city of Buffalo and just, you know, my hometown and, and you know, some other states that we you know, do stuff in. It's just um, that's always been, you know, my, the foundation of me is giving back to kids and that type of stuff. So to have the relation, relationships continue on, um, like you mentioned with the softball game, the kicks for kids, the back to school drive, all that type of stuff. This is a blessing. It's, it's an honor to be able to, to um, continue this stuff. And, you know, we're trying to do bigger and better things all the time. And this is, this is another, uh, I'm sorry, I'm getting another phone call. Uh, this is, this is another uh, opportunity for us to, to, uh, leave a stamp on Buffalo. How's the baby and the family? Everybody good? Everybody's doing great, man. All right. Doing great. Right. Getting, getting big, fast, 60. And he's using them too. There you don't go. Hold, don't get close to him and hold him. He's going to bite you. <laughs> All right, man. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, Micah. That's all we got time for. Thank you again. All right. We'll see you guys right. later. Appreciate Congrats. you guys.